imagined, a human-made dystopian event caused by our burgeoning nanotechnology. It's often referred to as the Grey Goo Syndrome. It might sound like a concept out of a quirky science fiction novel, but it represents one of the most chilling real-world hypothetical threats ever imagined. A nightmare born from the incredible promise and peril of nanotechnology. A relentless swarm of self-replicating nanomachines that sweeps across the Earth's biosphere, devouring resources and converting them into endless copies of itself. Microscopic devices, each no bigger than a bacterium, operating silently, invisibly, and at speeds that could outpace any attempt to contain them. The danger lies in the replication. In nature, replication drives evolution but bound by limits. Living organisms require specific conditions to reproduce. Artificial nanobots, if maliciously engineered, may not share those same limitations. If one of these machines could build another from raw materials, then those two could build four, endlessly doubling again and again. Within a matter of days or weeks, the number of nanomachines could exceed the number of living cells on Earth. They dismantle plants, animals, buildings, and even soil at the molecular level to feed the process of creating more nanomachines. To the human eye, it would look like a spreading, shapeless mass of dust or sludge, a grey goo. The theory hinges on a principle called exponential growth. We tend to underestimate how quickly something can escalate when it doubles at a consistent rate. What starts as an invisible speck could become a crisis before anyone realizes what is happening. Worse still, because these machines would operate at a microscopic scale, detection would be nearly impossible in the early stages. By the time governments or scientists identified the threat, the swarm may have already entrenched itself across multiple continents. Containment in such a scenario is not just difficult, it could be outright impossible. Critics of the Grey Goo scenario point out that it would require a staggering level of engineering skill to make nanobots capable of harvesting raw materials, processing those materials, and assembling them into perfectly functioning copies of themselves without errors. But the counter-argument is chilling. Technology rarely needs to be perfect to be dangerous. Biological pathogens, for example, are often inefficient, yet they have caused pandemics capable of reshaping human history. A nanotech pathogen, especially one intentionally designed, would bypass the environmental checks that slow natural occurring organisms. The most frightening aspect of this scenario is how easily it could emerge from an accident. Designing nanobots for repairing the ozone layer or cleaning ocean pollution could spiral into disaster. If a single line of code failed or a crucial safety mechanism malfunctioned, it could spark a global catastrophe. A more sinister possibility is a rogue state or non-state actor. A malicious nation-state could engineer a nanobot system that, instead of targeting people, focuses on critical infrastructure, unleashing catastrophic global destruction. Once the swarm escapes into the open environment, it would have no reason to stop, no boundaries to respect, and no allegiance to the Creator's original purpose. Defenses against such a threat are still theoretical. One proposed safeguard is to limit nanobots so they require rare and artificially manufactured molecules that don't exist in nature. The nanobots would essentially starve if they escaped their controlled environment. Another is to design them with kill switches or programmed lifespans, but history has shown that any safety measure can fail, especially under pressure or through human error. And just as biological organisms can mutate, it is conceivable that a complex network of autonomous machines could adapt in ways their designers never anticipated. But, in reality, the Grey Goose scenario remains speculative, and some scientists argue it is unlikely. However, the possibility of a similar scenario playing itself out in the real world forces us to examine all possibilities. 
If we are entering an era of technology capable of altering or even erasing life on Earth, it demands that we place the risks to our planet and civilization above all else. Its significance lies in the reminder that humanity is entering a time when we could develop technologies capable of altering or even destroying the biosphere itself. What makes the idea truly unsettling is that unlike other existential threats such as asteroid impacts, supervolcanoes or gamma ray bursts, grey goo would be a disaster entirely of our own making. It comes from our own laboratories and born out of our ingenuity and ambition. It reminds us in the most irreversible way possible that progress can be a destructive force in itself and not every invention should be brought to life.